Hi, I'm Antje uh, from Solidarity City Berlin. Yeah, I'm Michel, also from Solidarity City Berlin. We're in Berlin at the Schule für Erwachsenenbildung, as you can see here. We are uh, an alliance, like a group of organizations and individuals. We have around like 50 to 40 people dealing with refugee issues. Um, our main subject or our main demands is in the field of access to healthcare at the moment, where we are demanding an anonymous uh, Health card. Due to the atmosphere in Berlin and hopefully also a little bit due to our work, uh, the topic got the attention that it deserves and there is currently a debate in the budget dis discussions of the government of Berlin to develop an anonymous system for people to access healthcare. It's for people that are illegalized but it's also for, for people that just um, don't fit for whatever reason into the official frame of the German health insurance system. Yeah, for us it was uh, important to to imagine the city or to reimagine the city as a like where you can access public services regardless of what your status is, like to access to health, to housing, to work. Yeah, as you said, we we do want to cover a wide range of fields of everyday life, but due to our limited resources, we started with health as something that's just so central in everyday life. We are meeting once a month and we try to, um, to organize us in a way that we have different working groups so that we don't have to do all the topics all the time with everyone. We try to develop ideas to tell our city government. <laughs> The problems are actually very concrete and this is how they look like. Because of the fact that our topic is to, to get access to certain rights, like it's not, it's hard to imagine that we would run for, for office or anything. I think we are more of a grassroots movement that tries to organize and to get bigger and to, to give people a voice that can't can speak loudly in political processes. Because we are consistent of so many different people and also different organizations who speak different languages. We speak, for example, in our meetings we sometimes speak English. We have the need for translation to French and to Spanish. And we sometimes it works well, sometimes it can be a bit tiring, but I think it's definitely worth it because that way everyone can participate. A democracy, um, for me, on a very basic level, it would mean that people who are affected by certain laws or by politics um, have also the possibility to change these laws or to have a voice, you know, to participate in political processes. True participation means not only the telling someone, oh yeah, you have the right to say something if you want to, but to actually actively enable people to do that. So take the fear to talk in public, um, educate people on how the state functions. Like, democracy isn't just, for me, the right to, to participate, which is already limited, <laughs> but it has to be the ability to, to uh, participate. This kind of political work is very slow and sometimes very tiring and also frustrating, but I think it's, it's worth it and it's very direct, like this city organizing, it's about your neighbors and it's worth a try to meet them and change your surroundings. <laughs> that was good. That was a good sentence.